Hello everyone, welcome back to part 13 and in this one I actually lay down some paint across the body. So I didn't include it on the video as I've done it before in uh, like a how-to guide, one of my quick modelling guide things. <coughs> um, I've done the masking on the windows, didn't really take too much, it's not a huge amount to mask up as the, um, the two long areas on the fuselage that are glazed, um, they were sprayed over and so was the um, the one on the starboard side of the nose, just four of the uh, the cockpit area. I think that's for the bomb aim and whatnot, and they're just behind the front turret. So that's all been, that paint, well, I'll get painted over anyway. The rest has been masked up. So in this one, laying paint. Um, sorry I look a bit like a beetroot. I didn't realize how red I was until I looked on the camera, but I've been out in the sun all day. I've actually got panda eyes from um, my sunglasses, but I've been up at East Kirkby. Uh, which is the home of Just Jane, the uh, Lancaster that taxis back and forth. Um, maybe one day she'll fly, but when I was there, there's um, a small hangar they've got there, like a, just a workshop thing, and they've got parts for Wellington, so they've got the two full wings. Um, and I was having a look at the uh, the geodetic framework on that, that's pretty cool. Um, if you haven't been there before and you're from the UK, uh, I'd suggest getting over there and having a look. They've got some really interesting things, um, lots of small exhibits and things. <coughs> and, um, They've got a massive amount of um, old ordnance as well, so they've got tall boys, cookies, blockbusters, um, and also GPs and sort of uh, medium capacity bombs everywhere, high capacity and medium capacity bombs just on trolleys, um, which are really quite good for getting pictures of. I always take pictures of them all, and they've got an upkeep there, upkeep mine. So yeah, for reference, it's really quite good. Spending a day there, having a look around, um, and if you can tie it into when they've got an air show on as well, that's even better. You get to see some flying aircraft as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed me laying paint on this one. Um, I put, I do a little bit of talking through it as well. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the bell notification somewhere down this way, and that'll give you a little notification when a new video is coming up. Um, these are probably going to be coming quite thick and fast now. I've got the next two or so recorded. Um, and now it's nearing completion, so, well, it's got paint on it anyway. So this is just basing, uh, sorry, priming, basing, doing a black base sort of pre-shade and laying the green and uh, brown on the top surface as well. Anyway, enjoy. All right, so as I said, about to start painting the, uh, the Wellington, starting laying some base colors down. So I'm gonna start off with Vallejo Primer. This is one I like to use, really. Um, Bit of a love-hate Marmite sort of relationship some people have with this one. Um, most people prefer primers they can like, well just not this one, leaves like an elastic surface on it. Um, I've always gone with it, I've never really had many problems with it at all. Um, I find it to be slight, quite flexible as well. But anyway, I've used the grey primer um, and I've actually mixed this with some of the RAL 7021 Panzer grey primer as well and a little bit thinner. So this is like a pre-mix I do. Um, I don't like using the grey primer because the, out straight out of the bottle anyway. Um, I find it's too close to the um, the colour of the aircraft uh, or the plastic anyway. Um, and I just find that you can't really see where you've laid paint over. So in a way, it's kind of like a primer and uh, the beginning of a base coat sort of colour to um, work off some pre-shading, etc. as well. So I'm going to start laying that down now. Oh, after that as well, um, the colours I'm using are BS Dark Green, which is BS241, uh, Vallejo 71324. Um, and BS Dark Earth, which is uh, BS 450 71323 by Vallejo Air. Um, other colours I'll be using as well um, is just, I'll use some of the model colour blacks. Um, they're both the same, just pick them both up. Um, I'll probably use some medium sea grey on it as well. Um, just any kind of grey will do for mixing and toning the uh, black underside on it. Wipe some pre shade and uh, I'll mix up my own sort of um, black colour or night it was called uh, back in the day um, and I'll probably end up dra dropping a little bit of blue into it because it did have a touch of a blue hue to the colour um, so anyway without further ado we shall get my thinners let's drop it in here to help it flow a little bit uh, clean out and off we go
So the saddle brown colour is the uh, the colour I used for the inside, um, which would be the red dope colour that was applied to sort of make the uh, uh, the canvas go taut. Essentially, it was doped over and uh, stretched it, um, and that's what the colour I used on the inside. So what I'm thinking is, pre-shade some of this onto then it could look like the paint sort of like faded out a little bit, um, and it's showing. So I'll be putting this in like high wear areas and things like that, so it'll be around. Mm -hmm like uh, fueling hatches or anything like that, you know, little ports where it would get worn out probably from people standing on it. Um, I'm only applying this really lightly, so we're putting out some more thinner to it, so it just uh, saturates away a little bit. Um, anyway, fast forward again. <laughs> 